Good morning, my friends. Kevin, Whirling Vapor here, back again. I've got a little tank to show you this morning. It's called the Hera Tank. There we go, there it is. It's part of the Indulgence range, and it's from uh, Uniseg. Watch this, I'll be back with you in a tick. Oh, here's the box. Just a, a paper sleeve, really. We'll take a look at the back, and you've got what's in the box. Basically, here a tank, product qualified card, instruction manual, glass chamber, replacement coil, and O-rings. You've also got a scratch and sniff on the back there, as well as your usual CE marks, etc. And you've got uh, Unisig's web address on there. Let's get this out of here, shall we? There we go. Right, put that there. Now, uh, first of all, you get one of these little cards, and it's a, a, a qualified. Well, they call it a qualified card, so it's a quality assured sort of thing. Yeah. Right. This is your manual. <laughs> it's one tiny little sheet that I have to put my reading glasses on to uh, to read, but. Well, it tells you how to replace a coil and how to fill it up, etc. But, I mean, that's fair enough, isn't it? Right, here's what you get in the box. You get yourself a spare coil. Now, that is a 0.4 coil, rated from 40 to 80 watts. Best between 55 and 65 watts. You also get in here, if I can get it out... Oh, <laughs> you get a little baggy with O-rings in it. You also get, if I can push it out, there we go. You get yourself a spare tank, Pyrex that is. Oh, there you go, right. And here's the star of the show, if I can get it out. <laughs> I don't know why I bother putting it back in here, but there you go. Incidentally, I've already done a, a review for eSig Click, and that should become available pretty shortly yes so here's your here's your little tank i have used this so uh excuse any liquid that you see there although i did give it a bit of a, a clean out it's the uh it's uh the coil that i obviously didn't uh uh clean properly <laughs> that's the tank right now what did i do with my let's have a uh butcher's up shall we they say it's 22 mil and that's as near as damn it in it yeah, right, there you go. Right, the uh, internal for the diameter for the uh, the mouthpiece is 7.14, that's 7 millimetres, and the external for it is nearly 13. So, well, that's fair enough. There you go, right, let's uh, turn that off and put it away. Right, now to get into this little thing, very, very simple. Pull your drip tip off like so no pull your top cap off like so and your drip tip comes off like that you can actually put a 510 drip tip into the into this they do supply a 510 wide bore drip tip so well, it's slightly conical there that's fair enough the cap on the cap there it actually screws into the coil you've got an o-ring round the top there and an O-ring around the base of the uh, uh, the top cap, so when it sits on the glass, you're not going to get any leaks. And I've had no leaks from this. Right, pop back there. Take the glass off. Very simple. There you go. Not there. Right now, the uh, the coil sits into the uh, into the base like so. I can unscrew that. And this is the same as the spare, it's 0 0.4, same rating, if you can see that or not, but there you go, anyway. Right, that's the coil, uh, and there's your base. Yeah, now you've got an o a couple of O-rings on there to hold your glass in. You've got a Cylon single action which I can't turn at the moment, so I'll do that in a tick. But you've got a, a single action uh, Cylon airflow. Whatever you turn on this side will be the same for that side. You've got a gold-plated stainless steel 
connection pin there, indulgence, Hera, and this is tank number 195. That's fair enough, isn't it? Right now, here's the, here's the, the thing, right? When you put this coil in, make sure you do it up tight. Yeah? There is a reason, and that reason is, if you don't do it up tight, when you come to fill it and remove the top cap, this coil will un undo, and you'll lose whatever liquid you've got in there. So, there you go. Right, I just tighten that up. Incidentally, there we go. I've got something to grip hold of now. There we go. There's your, there's your Cylon airflow. Yeah. Right. The tank goes back on. Lexel. Okay, then we can fill it up. Right, so what am I going to put in this? This is what I had in there originally. So this is uh, um, lava juice, three milligrams. It's a high max VG liquid and it's by uh, TMB Notes. Yeah, quite nice liquid actually. This one, very fruity, very nice. Right, let's. Uh, Let's just pop a bit into here. Incidentally, when you uh, when you first coil this or put coil in it, do make sure that you pr uh, you uh, properly prime your coil. Otherwise, you will get a bit of burning with it. There we go. And you can do that quite simply by putting a little bit of juice down in through the coil, and also on these juice wick holes there. Right now, pop the cap back on. Now, with this cap, you don't need to over tighten it because if you do over tighten it, you will unscrew your your coil. Uh, what I do is I generally do it just over finger tight there. Yeah, there we go. Right. So now, what am I going to put this on? Oh, here we go. Look, I've got the smoke uh, smoke quantum here. I haven't, still haven't got around to doing the review for this one, but I will do. <laughs> and this one sits on here quite nicely, actually. There we go. I'm going to knock that down to about halfway because I'm going to be doing this at 40 watts to start with. Right, let's go back up top and talk a little bit more about this thing, shall we? We've been talking about this little Hero tank. There you go. There she is. Looks quite nice sitting on top of there, yeah. I don't mind black and silver, I think that's quite nice. Yes, so, yeah, I've got this set at 40 watts, 0.4 ohm coil. Airflow is down roughly to about halfway. This is mouth to lung. <laughs> I'll tell you, the flavour that I'm getting from this is absolutely wonderful. Now, I like to drip this liquid, this lava juice. I like to drip it because it, the flavour comes up. But this, within this, it's keeping up with the juice. The uh, the flavour is the best mouth to lung that I've had. Yeah, there you go. Right. Open it up a bit more. Let's bung it up to... Oh, wrong way, Kev. There we go. I'm going to bung that up to 60 watts and I've got it three quarters of the way open. Not a hot vape at all. Warm, but not hot. Uh, so, you know, I mean, you could see there by the amount of vapour that uh, I'm getting off of this thing. absolutely gorgeous i'll tell you what i am in love with this little thing i really am yeah i really am thank you very much to uh unisig and to ecig click for sending this on to me for review i really do appreciate that i'll tell you i've got no complaints about this little thing whatsoever well i've got one complaint about it and that is if you don't tighten that coil down enough, when you unscrew the top cap to fill it up, yeah, you're going to move that coil out of alignment there. And it's going to come out. You're going to lose whatever juice you've got in there. Two mil tank. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll accept that and move on. <laughs> it's the climate of the times. Yeah. Uh, so, well, there you go. 
Right, well, there isn't that much more that I can say about this little thing. This is Kevin from Word in Vapor saying thanks very much for listening to my warblings on this morning. You guys have a nice weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for now. Let's toot you out. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that.